Man, stop all that complain and make the adjustments. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt the video, but I just want to let y'all know. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll leave those. They'll probably be in front of my face. Maybe they'll be down here. I don't know where to be. But follow me on those social media handles. Be sure to check me out every single Wednesday, the Super Energetic Podcast. I'm on every streaming platform. Uh, all those links will be in the bio below. But that's all I got to say. Hope that you're ready for this fire video. Let's go. I'll tell y'all this. The reason why you aren't at the position that you want to be at, the reason why you're not in the place that you want to be at, the reason why you aren't making the money that you want to make, the reason why you aren't as successful as you want to be, isn't because you don't have the tools. Check that off. You do. You have the tools. It's not because you're not talented, because you are. So check that out. It's not because you don't have the potential. Check that off. You have all those things. The number one reason why you aren't where you want to be is because your demons are working harder than you. You're being outworked in your life right now. The negativity is outworking your positivity. The barriers are outworking you. Hell, it may be another person. There's another person outworking you. That's why you didn't get that big raise at your job. That's why you didn't get promoted because somebody outworked you. Everybody's so quick to make an excuse as to why they aren't in the position where they thought or where they wanted to be. But we got to keep life as simple as possible and just call it for what it is. Some of you are just being outworked. And some of you are watching this. Now, Pat, I've been working hard. Well, there is somebody that's been working harder. Read the shirt. Hashtag work harder. We got to stop making excuses. We got to stop pointing the finger at people. I say it all the time and I sound like a broken record. I don't care because no matter how many times you hear from another person, whether it be your parents or anybody, some of you still don't get that no matter what happens, if you're being outworked, you're missing something. You're missing a step. I don't care how hard you work. If somebody got the promotion over you, you're missing something. The company saw something in that person that they didn't see in you. And it might not have been like a landslide or by a long shot, but one little step, one little speck helped them make the decision, oh, we're gonna take this person over that person. You're just being outworked and it's all right, but you have to take ownership of that. You have no problem holding other people accountable and telling them what they didn't do or what they need to do, but you'll look yourself in the mirror and give yourself a pass. That ain't cool. If anybody's gonna be hard on you, it needs to be you. If anybody's expectations are gonna be high of you, they need to be your own expectations. Hold yourself accountable and take ownership. Man, I just didn't work hard enough. I'm gonna get it back the next time. Put your energy into working harder, doing something different. Some of you are taking L's, not because you don't have the tools, not because somebody's better than you, not because you're not talented enough or you don't have the potential. That's not why you're taking L's. You just aren't working hard enough. You're giving 95% and expecting a reward for giving 95%. But somebody that got the promotion, that got the pay raise, they gave 100%. They gave 120%. So it's no mistake that they got the pay raise, but you want a reward for giving 95%. You were too lazy to give the extra five. We just gonna call it like it is. No sugarcoat, nothing over here. We just gonna call it like it is. You were too lazy to give the extra five. So the next time around, try giving the extra 5%. If you gave 95, you can push the extra 5%. Stop pointing the finger at other people. Stop making excuses as to why you aren't where you wanna be. Take ownership. I'm not where I wanna be because I'm not doing enough. I need to do more. I need to do something different. I need to add an extra step. I'm not where I want to be because I don't have all the tools yet. I haven't mastered this certain skill. You have to take ownership. Nobody's in control of your life. So you might feel like you're working hard right now. You may feel like you're doing everything that you possibly can. But if it hasn't happened to you yet, then you're missing something. You're missing a step. And I don't know how long it's going to take you to develop that step. Hell, I don't even know how many more steps you need. I'm no psychic. I'm no uh, genie or nothing like that. But we need to develop the ability to work harder. We want to be the first person that people call when it comes time for a pay raise. When the next big opportunity comes, we want to be the first person that people call or that people mention. And that doesn't come from them, that comes from us. We have to show our track record. We have to show our work ethic. We have to show what we can do. We have to show that any time, any place, it doesn't matter the time of the day, nighttime, daytime, and this year, next year, we're gonna be prepared no matter what, we have to show the people that. Because at the end of the day, consumers don't get the big pay raise. They don't get the first call for the, the promotions. Producers get that. 
I'm gonna leave this video, I'm gonna ask you one question. Are you a consumer or are you a producer? And don't lie, because your work ethic is gonna show whether you're side A or side B.